Boy, the sign of Capricorn. Hello and welcome to my channel. It's showing it's a great time for travel, but of course we can't do that these days. Um, so you'll probably be feeling charged up and have a lot of energy and probably ready to get a lot of things done. Your self-confidence will likely be will likely to be increasing and this should help reach towards any goals that you have. Uh, this Knight of Wands is about a message coming in and it's a positive message. Someone could be trying to reach you. Um, it's with the Fool card. Now the Fool card is always an indicator of newness in one form or another. In many ways it indicates the purity and the open heart and energy and the innocence of a child. Children are trusting. Trust forms the basis of meaning for this card. Now this is usually positive, but there could be one thing. It's going to be important for you to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going, Capricorns. Because this man here, he's not looking where he's going. And uh, he's about to walk off, of a, walk off of a cliff right into the Atlantic Ocean. So make time, Capricorns, to be sure that you're looking where you're going. Trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. So... Basically, for the present time coming up in May, the Knight of Wands and the Fool card. So you're going to have a lot of fearless, brave energy, a lot of confidence coming up in May. Hmm. I'm not sure if you're a player, because <laughs> this Knight of Wands is a, is this the player card. He comes in and he comes out. He goes in and go out. He's in and out energy. You probably heard that before if you watch a lot of tarot. And that's this Knight of Wands. Um, you could be wanting to reach out to someone, or you could be um, getting some type of message or news that's really positive. Um, It's going to make you feel like um, a, you know, a child, a child again. It's not a, they didn't, um, the message is good news. So the message that you're getting for this night that's coming in is, is going to make you feel carefree and like you're ready to take a leap. Probably towards this person. Yeah, because this person is coming in. He's charging in, and it looks like he's on a big bird. So he's got a um, he's got his face covered, and he wants to he brings positive news, positive messages, fearless, brave, very confident. This person could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So I don't know if it's your person or someone new coming towards you, but uh, they're going to want to make you want to take a leap. You're going to want to jump right in. So this person must be kind of handsome. Yeah. They're going to make you want to feel like taking a risk, taking a chance. Maybe run off with them. So that's what I got for the present time. Let's move on over and take a look at... Your person that you're dealing with, how they see you. Now, they see you as a Six of Wands. And also, they see you as a star. Now, the Six of Wands, it signals victory. If you are anxious about a court proceeding or you want to win your lover's heart, just know that you will be victorious. Because you see this lady, she's standing up on a podium. Right where it says how they see you, the card that's at the top, 
And she's standing on a podium and there's a lot of people surrounding her below. And they're pumping her up, they're cheering her on. So it's about being victorious. Uh, this can indicate any kind of celebration. Maybe part of a graduation party, commitments, commencement celebration. Or maybe re receiving a reward for some type of good work that you've done. The Six of Wands makes you feel really good about yourself. You may feel as though you have a lot of support from everyone around you. On the other hand, you could adore someone else why, why, um, whereby adoring them makes you feel amazing. Okay, so your person sees you like this uh, Six of Wands. They see you as um, they recognize you and um, they want victory. That's how they see you. Or it could be you seeing them that way. Now let's clarify this because it's with the star card. Now the star card, uh, you're probably feeling really inspired with this card and hopeful about the future than you have in a while. Um, you're confident that your needs are being met, whether it's emotional, financial, financial, or it could be both with the star card. Uh, they're being met, your needs. Nothing can be taken for granted, of course, but it's unlikely that your confidence will be misplaced. Very unlikely. Um, this is also a spiritual card. You could find that you're feeling really at one with all of creation. And it's not a common feeling, so make sure you savor it. So, once again, your person sees you as the Six of Wands and the Star card. So, they see you having a lot of hope for this connection, and you believe in it. You had a lot of faith in it with the star card, and they see that you're open to this connection. Yeah, you're very hopeful. And um, because the Six of Wands is there, you're hopeful and you, you feel that you can be victorious. You can have a lot of success in this connection. And that's how they see you. Let's move on over. Let's take a look at how you see them. Now you see them as the Two of Pentacles and you also see them as the Five of Cups. The Two of Pentacles is about two main issues at front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to pay too much attention to quite so many things. Multitasking is not your friend. You may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on two main priorities. Your financial situation may need more attention and may need to be balanced. So be sure you're paying attention there. So it's paired with uh, Two of Pentacles is paired with Five of Cups. Five of Cups. A uh, love relationship you're in may just have ended or maybe about to start the process of ending. Um, so it's about being mindful of where you put your focus. You might find yourself asking, what are you going to choose to focus on? The implication is clear. Probably it will come across as being really clear to you. Are you going to cry over spilt milk or are you going to focus on the milk that you have and get on with things so it's about watching where you put your focus and make sure the focus is for your highest good so you see a person as disappointed there's some lost regret with this five of cups and it, it, you see them you see that it has caused them some imbalance or you could see them juggling uh, just doing too much or they got too they got more than one they're two timing um, they multitask they do a lot of juggling and uh, that's how you see them 
and you see them as um, with some disappointment. So it could go it could go a few ways with these two cards paired together, but I'm picking up that there is you're seeing your person as um, with some lost regret, grief, and feelings of abandonment. And um, it's because they they did a lot of juggling. So they need to balance themselves and stop. Like I said, stop multitasking because it's causing um, some disappointment in this connection. Now, let's move on over. Let's take a look at why it's happening. We got this King of Swords and the Emperor. Now, but these cards are very forceful, heart and cold energies. Two of them. Uh, King of Swords, a lot of people call this the Narcissist card. Narcissist, um, a powerful, opinionated, forceful man. Um, if this is you, you may be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally. Um, if it's not referring to an actual person in your lives, you probably need to consider the feelings of others before you act. Um, this forceful energy, you may not be able to get this man to change his mind or to do what you want. So you might have to change something about your behavior and or expectations. So, they use their head over their heart, just like the Emperor below, below this card. Uh, the Emperor is about domination over the mind, over the heart. Um, when hard choices have to be made, it's important to maintain your focus, your concentration. And the Emperor signals this. So, it's a... Uh, time when you'll find it easier to make hard choices yeah because this emperor they could be a leader or a boss really arrogant they never want to come across as being vulnerable so it's hard to tell how they feel about you so basically why it's happening we got this narcissist here this king of swords and this person probably makes you feel really bad a lot of times. Very opinionated, forceful. They can overstep their bounds. And they're just, they can be really cold. And then you've got this emperor that's, they never want to show vulnerability. So uh, you never know what their heart is thinking about you. Yeah. So, you got two really cold energies here. Yeah, you just you don't know what this person do they do they like you? You you wouldn't even know if this person likes you or if they if they really wanted to be with you. You'd always be questioning. So, basically for this reading, just to recap, somebody's coming in. They're on this bird in the air. I'm picking up it's a player type. Possibly in and out, this king, king of wands. But you're going to feel like you want to jump right in there and take a chance on this person with the fool card. Yeah, you're going to take a leap. Yeah, you're just going to just take a leap of faith. Um, something about them you really like. Now, they see you as wanting victory and success. And um, with the star card here, um, they see you, you got a lot of hope towards this connection. And you see them as um, disappointed, though. Yeah, they could be focusing on the milk that spilled on the ground and not the good milk that they have, still have in their hand. And you see them as um, juggling. 
So, that must be this Knight of Wands, this in and out player. So, they do a lot of juggling. That's how you see them. And you see them bringing disappointment to this connection with the Five of Cups. Because they juggle and, and then they're in and then they're out. And uh, why it's happening? Because this is a cold-hearted type of person. Um, narcissistic type of person. They only think about themselves. And then you can never really tell how they feel about you with the Emperor here. Yeah, they never want to let you know how they feel. They never want to come across as honorable. And that King of Swords, uh, he'll cut you in a minute with his words. Probably with his hands. They they overstep their bounds sometimes. But that's why it's happening. Uh, it just looks like this reading is about some in and out type of energy. And it looks like they think you want success in this connection and that um yeah they they think you feel you're, you're confident enough to handle them as a star but this person can be a lot to handle because we like i said we got this this juggler here for how you see them then there are two forceful mean energies and then they're in and out here in the present time as this Knight of Wands, that's player, player energy here. So you got your hands full in May, Capricorn. I don't know if I would stick around for that. I, well, I don't know how many people would, but it just depends on what you're looking for. Maybe that's, that's all you um, can expect. That's all you expect from this person. You know what they're all about. Sometimes... You know, people, as long as, sometimes people feel they can handle a certain situation that most people can't, as long as they know up front what the, what the, what the dealio is. Dealio is. Dealio is.